हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन फ्रेंड्स इन आर प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड विक्टोरियन क्रिटिसिज्म वी डिस्कस्ड थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट विक्टोरियन क्रिटिक्स ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर नेमली मैथ्यू आर्नोल्ड वॉल्टर पेटर एंड जॉन हस्किन बट आफ्टर दिस विक्टोरियन एरा इफ यू कम टू द न्यू एज दैट इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी friends here we find a new manner a new style of expressing uh, expression of ideas in literature and that new theory that new method is the theory of expressionism which was developed by an italian philosopher benedetto croce so friends in this video lecture today we are going to understand the theory of expressionism as expounded as developed by benedetto croce friends croce who was born in the year 1866 and died in the year 1952 is known as an outstanding a very important critic and philosopher in italy who lived in the first half of the 20th century his most important contribution is the journal la critica this journal actually croce himself started in the year 1903 it was in this journal that he has expressed his views his critical views in the field of history philosophy art and literature in the form of essays published in this journal friends the importance of this journal la critica is much as far as the critical career of croce is concerned because croce himself has said these things as you can see here on the screen in the red lines he says that the foundation of la critica marked the beginning of a new period in my life it was a beginning of a new period in his career it was it was the period of maturity and harmony between myself and reality so this is very important not only this you know croce it is believed that he has rendered great service in the molding of the citizens characters in italy in those times in italy the prime minister was count camillo benso di cava he the prime minister also said about croce's contribution he said that having made italy we must make italians and la critica has took up this mammoth task of accomplishing of building good character in the society among the citizens okay so friends after this short introduction let's try to understand this theory of expressionism as developed by croce friends it is the most important and influential aspect of all his philosophical ideas okay croce has expressed many philosophical ideas but but his theory of expressionism is considered as the most important one in fact he says that all art must be essentially expressive the art must be expressive what is this that we are going to discuss now expressionism is actually a movement of art in which the artist aims at self expression okay without the least regard of the feelings of the audience so the first thing that friends you must try to understand is that in this movement the writers who followed this expressionism they believed that while writing or while creating an art 
the writer must not focus on the audience okay we must not be guided by the audience of this art okay the followers of this movement the writers of this movement believed that the moment the rules and norms from outside are imposed on the artist they cease to to be the artist so this is very important okay generally in criticism you know plato aristotle john dryden longinus all these theoretical critics have given their own theories about how to write literature how to write poetry but the followers of expressionism they believe that no rules from outside should govern the true art he said that true true art must be natural okay the artist is not an artist if he is following the norms the rules and regulations given by some other agencies by some other critics okay so you know they believed in natural expression okay they believed in natural observation and natural expression without any logic without any unity or without any rules and regulation in fact these followers of expressionism they believed that even the children should not be taught in the schools okay because teaching lessons to the children will actually plant artificial plants in their minds okay let the children be natural let their behavior be natural okay they believe that the moment you start teaching to the children it stops their original impulse it stops their original behavior in the same manner nothing should be taught to the artist no rules should be imposed on the artist the moment you give the rules to the artist you know it stops their natural expression okay it destroys their power of expression so this is one point now this philosophy of expressionism is actually based on the idea of two kinds of reality okay the followers of expressionism they believed that there are two kinds of reality which are these two kinds of reality one is the external reality and another is the internal reality of our mind okay now let's try to understand this you know there are two kinds of reality and that's why you know they said there are two kinds of worlds one world which we see with our eyes which we touch with our fingers okay okay that world is the external world that world is the physical world and the another world which is there in our mind is impressionistic world or it is an internal world okay so there are two kinds of reality one that we see from outside with our physical eyes and another that we feel from inside okay which our conscience tells us which our soul tells us you know which our which we feel from inside that is the internal world now because there are two kinds of realities that's why there are two forms of knowledge okay one is the intuitive knowledge and another is the logical knowledge logical knowledge means what you know from outside we understand like when i see at the sun we say it is the day okay how do we prove that it is a day it is a day because when we see the sun but when i see the stars when i see darkness we say it is night so that is the 
logical knowledge we we receive some knowledge we understand this world by applying our logic okay that is one logical world another world is the intuitive knowledge intuitive knowledge is the knowledge that we get from inside closing our eyes okay uh, we will discuss we will try to understand this through this picture as you can see in this picture you know there are some people who are blind people they are trying to recognize what this element is or what this object is okay as you can see there are some blind people and they touch the the object okay they play with the object they listen to the object and then they decide that yes it is an elephant okay so this knowledge they received they they received the knowledge how they received this knowledge by touching by visualizing or by listening to the object okay so that is called the uh, the, the knowledge of logic logical knowledge okay we recognize this world through our intuition also that is another method now look at this picture right there are two people you know reality can be so complex that equally valid observations from different angles or from different perspectives can appear to be very contradictory from one side you know you can see that there are four rods from the other side you can see there are only three rods okay so there may be a problem with the external logical world your knowledge can be wrong sometimes you know when you apply when you receive the knowledge with your logic with your eyes sometimes your eyes may be wrong sometimes your sense of touch may be wrong sometimes your your sense of hearing may be wrong okay five senses we understand this world through our five senses the uh, the power of smelling the power of tasting the power of touching the power of seeing something or the power of listening to something these are the five senses of mankind okay when we apply logic and when we receive some knowledge it might be wrong but did the, the followers of the expressionism they believed that true reality is intuitive reality true knowledge is intuitive knowledge it comes from within okay where intellectual power your power of thinking you know uh, does not work your power of thinking is actually developed from outside okay but your power of feeling sometimes your soul soul tells you that we should do this or that okay sometimes we listen to the voice of our conscience okay hum apni atma ki sunte hain jo atma ki awaz hoti hai dosto wahi to intuitive knowledge kehte hain okay all human knowledge actually begins from intuition this is said by kant a 20th century modern philosopher you can watch this picture you look, you can look at this picture you close your eyes there are some keys given to you and through your own intuition you close your eyes and you pick up the right key how did you do that you did that with your intuition okay so uh, these writers who followed this theory of expressionism they believed in the knowledge of intuition okay crouchy he contrasts intuition with impression according to him all intuition must find proper expression within the mind okay every he says that every true intuition or representation is also expression so now you try to understand this he said that true expression of intuition must be done in true art art is ideal art is true 
only when intuitions are expressed in in art or literature now when he says when he uses this word expression he is remember he says that these expressions should be within the mind only he says that the moment you write it down on a piece of paper say for example some i receive some intuitive knowledge i receive some impressions in my mind i have some thoughts or some images in my mind and i want to write a poem okay so the process goes on in my mind and then i start writing this poem on a piece of paper but crachi said that the moment you start writing on a piece of paper it is not art art according to true art is only when the when it is expressed within the mind so true art stays there only the moment it comes out it is not art so this is a problematic thing like uh, uh, for your understanding as you can see in this picture this picture is very uh, bizarre kind of a picture where the ideas are expressed you know in a bizarre manner like it's very difficult to understand the meaning of this picture right so this is an example of expressionism right now uh, the if we follow this idea then there is a problem the problem is that if it is not expressed in the outside world if i do not write a poem on a piece of paper if i don't draw the painting on a piece of paper then how would it be appreciated by my readers okay how would the critics read it because the critic cannot enter into the mind of the artist okay so if we agree with this view then it creates a problem it creates a danger for the whole profession of the critics why because the job of a critic is to examine to interpret and then to take the judgment about the external art which is handed over to him when he receives some arts when when he receives some poem okay then he reads the poem he analyzes this and then he interprets and takes the judgment whether this poem is good or not but crachi believed that true art is not expressed on a piece of paper true art is there in his mind okay uh, the art in physical form is not the true art according to him so the moment tries to the moment the artist tries to express or externalize his impressions he stops being an artist okay art according to him exists within the mind only and when it appears in the external world it is not an art so the problem here is that then if this is an art then what is the use of this art okay uh, if this is an art then what is the role of criticism because the critics do not get it external in physical form then how would they criticize the work of art so it creates a problem so friends there is this major limitation of this crachi's theory of expressionism what is the problem with this theory the the problem is that crachi forgets that the main business of an artist is actually to communicate his vision of life his sense of beauty and truth to the audience okay otherwise what is the use of his art okay if art is not expressed in the physical world in the physical form then the artist will not be able to communicate his vision of life his thoughts his emotions okay his sense of beauty his sense of truth to the audience to the readers okay if the artist does not do this then what is the role uh, what is his responsibility in the so responsibility in the society because you know when we were studying literature we discussed that the author the artist is shouldering a very important responsibility to reform the society to 
to please the society to please to delight the readers if it is not done then the role of the artist is zero okay uh, in the beginning of the 20th century friends uh, there were a host of artists there were a number of artists and print painters who tried to follow this theory of expressionism okay and they tried to present the useless and very ugly things in their pictures in their poems but this theory did not last long in the 20th century so friends let's conclude the whole discussion by saying that according to crachi crachi was an italian philosopher and critic of the 20th century he has developed this theory of expressionism according to this theory there are two kinds of reality one is the internal reality and another is the external reality and at the same time this theory believed that there are two forms of knowledge the knowledge that we get from with our logic and the knowledge that we get from our own intuition so intuitive knowledge and logical knowledge okay uh, this theory believed that true art exists within the mind of the artist the moment it comes outside in the physical form in the external world it stops being an art okay uh, when the impressions are given an external form it becomes an inferior kind of art according to crachi this theory of expressionism was very popular in the first half of the 20th century there were some writers like van gogh matisse gauguin and kandinsky you know they followed this theory in their works in their art and literature but this movement had its own limitations as i told you there were so many limitations of this movement why because if the artist does not communicate his vision of life there is no use of such art because of such limitations you know this movement ended very soon it did not enjoy good days for a longer period of time so friends here we come to the end of this discussion if you have any doubts or questions do write to me in the comment section of this channel friends please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so that when i upload a new video you will get the notification thank you thank you very much